Hey guys, uh, we are here with another uh, Breakfast with Banner. We're a little late this morning, uh, about 20 till 10, but better late than never, I guess. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it's Greg and I this morning. And uh, what we're planning on doing, uh, the last three Mondays of the month is when we're going to have a guest on. So we do have some uh, guests planned for the next three Mondays. So make sure you stay. Uh, Keep tuning in and uh, just following us uh, here on Facebook. And uh, but uh, we do have some stuff that we uh, want to talk about today. Talk about the uh, direction of the banner and uh, where we're going, uh, where we're headed, and the things that we uh, have in store. So, uh, Greg, is there anything you want to? Well, I'll just start by wishing everybody a late happy Easter. Hope you all have a great had a great Easter weekend. I know we did. My family and I, uh, we went to church Sunday morning and it was an absolute beautiful day. And we actually got home. I took, uh, well, we went and ate lunch after church with our family, my, my boy and my daughter and my wife and I. And we, uh, we ate a little bit of lunch, went home and took a, no a long nap. <laughs> which was it's fantastic. <laughs> and then uh, Landon, my son and I got up and we, I've got an old, I don't know if I've ever told you this, I've got an old vintage motorcycle that a very dear friend of mine gave me. So, and I've always wanted a Honda, a Honda street bike. Mm. And several years ago, I was on the road with a dear friend of mine and I don't know why, I don't know what possessed me to say it, but I just said it out loud. Hey, I'd love to have like a 1980-something, oh, yeah. Honda, da, 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 whatever. And he said, well, I just happened to have one of those in my garage. And I asked him immediately how much he wanted for it. And he said, you know what, just come get it. <laughs> and so I did, and I got it. So uh, it's 1980, uh, CM450. It's like an automatic transmission. Honda only made like a couple years of them. Oh, really? It's got two gears. Yeah, one, one and two, and that's all you need. So... For a dummy like me, you know, I don't have to think about a lot, but, you know, go and stop. Yeah. Um, but my son and I got out yesterday afternoon and rode around Hendersonville, Tennessee, some of the back roads and everything. And just, uh, we just had a great time. Yeah. Just spending time together and... That's always fun. And looking at the farmland and, and stuff. Because you, you can take a, you can take a couple of rights and a left out of the... The busy part of Hendersonville and and be on a nice country road, yeah. and, and it just couldn't have been any prettier of a day. Yeah. I mean, there was not a cloud in the yeah. sky. It, it was, was a beautiful warm. day yesterday. So he and I just rode, and we went to the you know there's a couple of country stores. We just stopped and got us you know you know some tea and and sat out and talked. It was just an absolutely perfect Easter day. But I uh, would say on the way up here this morning, I was listening to one of my favorite pastors uh alistair Begg. i don't know if you've ever heard of alistair he has uh i think it's i think the name of his program is truth and living uh -huh. um he was preaching at, at some church in texas and i was watching i wasn't watching and driving i was listening <laughs> and driving let me correct myself it was on youtube but i i just keep it you know i keep it on so i can hear him through my truck and uh he was talking about the power of the cross and, and Easter and what what it truly means, you know, this time of year to those that have placed their full weight on Christ. And uh, I'm so grateful for that yes. in my life this morning, man. I just I tell you, I know I know not everyone's a believer, but I um, this this is that it. I think we can pretty pretty much all agree that our world is broken in some yes. way or other. And I'm not talking about politically, I'm not talking about anything else other than just, you know, we, we, could, we could stand a lot of improvement at the very least, you know. But uh, I think the trap that we always fall into, or I know I did for a long, long time in my life, and, and I, don't, I didn't mean to get out on No, no, you're fine. You know what? We are post-Easter, so I'm just, yeah. I'm just talking out loud. Um, was thinking that you know, it was up to me that that my eternity, my life, uh, the way I lived, and everything. That's that's how I I viewed 
getting close to God or, 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 or pleasing God right. was by what I could do or did not do. Right. You know? right. And um, we just, we, we have to come to a place in our lives, I believe, that we, where we realize that we, none of us are good. No. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly. And we, and we can't, uh, you know, I was raised in church. Chad, I knew you probably were. Yes. Um, I was raised in church. My mom was faithful to take my brother and I to church every time the doors were open. Um, but there is there is a little bit of a trap in that. There's yeah. there's a danger in that, and that danger is is thinking that you have something to do with your eternity. Yes. In and of yourself. Yeah. But I love what uh, Pastor Begg said this morning. He was talking about. You know, he was asking the question. Have you placed your full weight on the work of Christ? And I thought, man, that is, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. That's it. That's it. I mean, even the thief on the cross, I love, he, he had this whole illustration. It was kind of funny. He was saying the thief on the cross next to, next to Jesus when he turned to him and uh, he reprimanded the other, the other person. And then he looked at Jesus and he said, you know, Lord, remember me when you enter your kingdom. And Jesus told him, today you'll be with me in paradise. You know, and it, there's a joke about him going to the gates of heaven and the angel looking at the thief and, and saying, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, now, why are you here? You know? <laughs> and then the guy said, well, I, I don't know. He said, okay, well, I'm going to have to get my supervisor. So he right. goes and gets the supervising angel and comes up to him and, and says, now, okay, uh, you're here because, let's see, what can you tell me about justification by faith? And the guy, the thief says, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay, what about um, scriptural doctrine and and what that means to your life in, in general and everything? I got no idea. And he says, well, okay, I clearly see your name here, but I'm just a little bit confused as to why you're here because, I mean, usually people know a whole lot more than right. what you're... And he says, in the joke, he says... You know, I don't know. All I know is the man hanging next to me on the cross said I could come. And so here I am. You know right. what? And in the at the bottom line, that's really all any of us have, isn't right. it? it? I is. didn't mean to turn this into a sermon, no, man, no, but I'm going to tell you. That's good. That's good. Happy belated Easter <laughs> to everyone out there. And you know what? And on behalf of Chad and myself, um, if you're not a believer, you know what? Seek his face. And the face I'm talking about is Christ Jesus. You know what? You you owe it. It's not going to hurt you look into it. If you've never heard of him, maybe you've never been a believer, maybe you're 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 very scientifically minded, you're secular, I don't know. I don't know, but whatever wherever you are, wherever your situation is this morning. You know what? It's worth a look. You know. Okay? It most certainly is, and that's that's something I hope uh, you guys that have noticed uh, with what we're doing now is uh, last week we started posting a daily devotional, and uh, something uh, which I'm proud to say with the banner and with New Direction that we are uh, a Christian-based company, a Christian-based newspaper, and I think you can tell with the uh, the stories that we feature in the newspaper uh, we uh, want to go in a direction that's positive uh, there's uh, I know people you know the news always reports on the negative and, and brings you down and, and and that's not what we want to do we we want to build you guys up and uh, when uh, Greg says you know to seek his face it's it's you don't have anything you have everything to gain nothing to lose at all by seeking his face and uh, you know that's with with the way that I know that I think I can speak with for Greg and, and for Willie with uh, the, the guys that they are. I know they're you know two good Christian men uh, and good Christian influences, uh, not only on me, but for everybody uh, around them. And uh, that's something that, you know, uh, every morning when I pray that, uh, you know, my wife and daughter and I, we gather and, and we'll pray. And uh, whether it's before, you know, work, before school, that, you know, we pray for for God to use us to be a blessing to the ones around us and use us to further his kingdom. And that's not just uh, with the way that we live our lives. It's through our work. It's through our schooling. It's through 
the people that we meet, you know, when people see uh, Jesus in us, even if we don't say a word, we're ministering to them. So wherever you're at, just know you can you can minister wherever you're at. You know, we, we have a we have an opportunity here to minister to you guys through what we're doing here on Facebook with our newspaper uh, and wherever you're at, at your job, in schools and uh, in your family life, uh, whatever you're doing, the way that you live your life, uh, your, the words that you speak, and uh, just, just know that you're, uh, you're a blessing to the ones around you and uh, know that you're a blessing to us. Uh, we, we love you guys and, and, and love everything, all the love and support you've shown us. So, uh, I saw a quote. Uh, not to interrupt you, I saw no, a quote this, this, this weekend, Chad, um, going along with what you're talking about. We can be ministers wherever we are doing whatever we do. <clears throat> and I really believe that with all my heart. But uh, I think it was St. Francis of Assisi was quoted in saying, Go into all the world and preach the gospel, mm -hmm. and if necessary, use words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our lives, our lives speak volumes. Yeah. And... Um, and so, th and so they should, and so they should, you know. But it's also very important to know that we can't do that on our own. That um, I know I, I, ex I spent a lot of exhausting years, you know, trying to be, uh, as my father-in-law used to say, the assistant Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and I, my, my application keeps getting rejected <laughs> for that job. Uh, even in my own life, you know, I, I just, I'm so grateful for God's grace and his forgiveness and, and how that sets me free to live my life and, and enjoy um, what he has for me. And another pastor that I, I truly admire, John Piper, uh, says that, and this I think this is astounding, he says, God is most satisfied in us when we are most satisfied in him. Yes. I think that's the greatest truth that I think I've ever been told. It is. Uh, this side of the grave. So, you know, and, and, I, and I think that's you know, with a lot of people, they are they're they're ashamed. I hate to say that, you know, mm -hmm. to live their life for Christ because they're afraid they're going to get made fun of. And, but you know that you're you're in good hands if you're being made fun of for living your life for Christ because look how he was persecuted. Uh, he was doing what what his father told him to do, and uh, he was beaten and persecuted, mm -hmm. and. Uh, just what was celebrated this past weekend, you know, he defeated all that, uh, grave, death, mm -hmm. and uh, we know that uh, he's soon going to come again. And, uh, you know, as long as we're, we're living for him, this world, it doesn't matter. This is just temporary. Uh, everything that we see is temporary. So uh, our eternal home awaits. And uh, just know that, uh, man, whatever you do, live for Christ. It's, it's great. Happy post Easter to all of our friends out there, and hopefully we're making some new ones this morning. And uh, we are glad that you're with us. And uh, like you said, we were we we wanted to give you a little bit of update on where we're going with the banner yes. and the directions that um, the banner newspaper is is headed, and um, how just we just are being blessed in so many ways. And Chad, what what new things on the horizon do we have? coming up well we're uh, going to continue with the breakfast with the banner i know last week and i still feel horrible about it we <laughs> we had two very special guests on last week uh, brother david royalty and brother chris royalty uh from tennessee they came down to give us an easter message and we had some technical difficulties but uh if you do go to our facebook page both of their sermons from their respective churches are up on our uh, up, are up on the, the Banner's Facebook page, so you can watch uh, and uh, listen to what they were speaking about here. Uh, so we do have that up on our page. Uh, but we're going to continue with these uh, Breakfast with the Banner, and uh, hopefully everything is, is working kosher this morning, that you guys can hear us okay, that there's no uh, sound echoes and no uh, cutting out with the internet this morning. Uh, I know we do have Miss Glenda uh, before I go too too much further, Miss Glenda, uh, Willie's mama. Oh. Uh, she says good morning. Hey, Miss Glenda. Good morning to you. And she says great job, guys. Preach on. Sweetest lady on the planet, quite possibly. I think you may be right. I she, mean, they just they don't get much better. I think all of our moms are sweet. Though. Yeah. Uh, I know mine is. I don't know what I do. Uh, my mom raised two boys, two rowdy boys, and uh, worked two jobs growing up with when I was growing up, two jobs, single mom, 
And I remember being a football player, and so was my younger brother. And she would work all day in a, in a furniture factory, come home, make sure that we were at practice, never missed a game, and made sure that she had supper on the table. And then she would go back to work in a second uh, furniture factory and work till 9 p.m., come back home and do that over and over. She never complained. And, and uh, Mama, I don't know if you're looking this morning, because uh, I know she, my mother lives in, in the in the in the country, country, in the country of country. North Mississippi. So I'm not sure if she's watching this morning, but Mama, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful that you taught me uh, the love of Jesus. And not only you taught me with words, but you showed me with your life. And uh, all those, all of my family in North Mississippi, I'd like to say hello to this morning. You know, that, that's a, that's a. I don't know if we can we can manage this. Mother's Day is in May. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Maybe hard for your mom to get down here, but that would be a good thing. You know what? Mama was wanting to come up. Yeah. She was wanting to come up and see the shop. She's never been here before. You know, she's used to, she's used to me traveling everywhere, and she comes mm-hmm. to see me when I'm within 150 mile radius of of her, when we're traveling with uh, Mr. Gaither and crew, but she is. She mentioned, she goes, I want to come see where the shop is and everything. So, yeah, we should have her up. Maybe we can we can have our mothers on for a special that would breakfast be, with That would be banner. fantastic. That'd That's be a great fun. idea, Chad. Yeah. That'd be fun. Let's make it happen. Mama, <laughs> hope you got your suitcase packed because we're going to go to Kentucky. <laughs> mother's Day. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. It'd be great. Get our moms on here. My mom is, a, of course, I love my mom to death. I wouldn't be. Honestly, I don't think I'd be the man I am without her. So uh, she has uh, uh, been the mother to uh, many people, and uh, growing up, and uh, still is a still is a is a mom to many now. And uh, so to my mom, I love you, Miss. Isn't that how it goes too? Yes. True mothers, they they kind of raise a whole community. Don't they do. They, they in do. a sense. They do. I know mean, mine did too. They do. And they too. Hey, Tom. Yeah, Tom is he's watching. Uh, Maria Lynn Adams, uh, absolutely. We pray before as well, and I know yep. he, LJ says that he's finally awakened his wife Amber, <laughs> who works with us here at New Direction. <laughs> What's she doing sleeping so late, LJ? That's the question we want to know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tell her to get out there and feed them chickens. Yeah, I know them chickens hadn't haven't been fed this morning. She she brought us some eggs, so uh, yeah, and some duck eggs. And what do you think about those eggs? She I I love them. Listen, I've never had. I mean, I'm and I'm I'm ashamed to say uh-huh. I was raised on a farm. I raised by around a farm, my uncle's farm, and then uh, I was actually worked on a poultry farm in Georgia when I was a young teenager, uh, just becoming a teenager. And I'd never had a duck egg, ever, until Amber. Amber's been very gracious, she and LJ, to supply us with eggs um, since she's been here. And I mean, they're delicious. But duck eggs are especially, they're bigger, which is automatically good. Anything that gets me more food in my belly (laughs) is better. But they taste amazing. Couldn't get my family to try them. Really? No. No, I begged, I begged, I begged my son, who is usually the, I don't know, I mean, he usually, I guess, the most adventurous eater, right. you know, if I say, you know, son, try this, he'll stick it in his mouth. Maybe I burned him. Yeah. Maybe I burned him. Maybe it was that snail, uh, that escargot that I had him try years ago. Yeah. Maybe that. That could have done it. That traumatized that could, him. That could have done it. <laughs> that that would have done it for me, too, yeah. I think. <laughs> I think, uh, but uh, yeah, we we do have a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, we've got uh, three guests lined up for the rest of April. Uh, names on the tip of my tongue. Making the. Uh, I want to help you so bad. Yeah, I'm here for you. Can't think of his name. Lord give him the Lord give him everything he needs right now. Yeah. Anyway, you'll see him next week. What does he do? He uh, he's a uh, deputy sheriff here in town, and uh, he's the barbecue the barbecue guy. Brett Brett is Brett 
Brett. 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 Hey, Willie. Yeah. It's Brett. Pardon our informality. Uh, the barbecue guy. Uh, Brooks. 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 Yes, Deputy Brooks. My apologies, Brooks. <laughs> hey, listen, I will tell you something. I, I can't remember his name, but I can remember how that barbecue rub tastes. And I'm telling you right now, if you guys haven't had it, he's local right here in Caldwell County. He makes his own barbecue rub, but it's not just barbecue rub seasoning. Listen, you can eat this stuff on potato chips. I know because I dip my potato chips in it, and it is fantastic, dude. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. It is amazing. Yeah. But he, he packages it, and he's so gracious to allow us to print all of his labels. And um, we, we're going to have him on. We'll have him yeah. on next week. A uh, week after that, we're going to have Brother Harold Riley here, uh, which is always good to speak with Brother Harold. Uh, we love him to death. And then the following week after that, we're going to have Michelle Travis on. Uh, Fredonia, she's a head of the Fredonia Planning Committee. they got some stuff happening in May that she's going to come and talk to us about, too. So mm -hmm. some exciting uh, guests coming up. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions on, on people you'd like to see on here, uh, let us know. Uh, help us to get them on. Uh, you know, uh, Lyme in uh, Trigg Counties, uh, Dawson. Uh, we would love any recommendations that you'd like to see on here. We've got some musical guests that we're working on too. Yes, yes. Uh, one of which we've already mentioned this morning, and I don't even think he knows yet, but we're going to get LJ Grandstaff in here. He was just on my mind when yeah. you said that. And he's a so. worship leader at First Baptist, am I right? Or is he uh, one of the worship he's leaders? One, I believe, LJ, correct me, I know you're watching. You play in the worship band, right? But he's extremely talented uh can play anything i think all the grand staffs are oh they're incredibly talented for, yeah, family. yeah they are they we're are. gonna have him in here uh who knows man i may bring uh some percussive instruments at some point and play along with some of these guys i need to i need to scratch that itch myself it's been a little while since i was on the road tour i don't know if i ever mentioned that I, but I, I i've played i've played um I played music, had the privilege of playing music with some incredible talent through the years, but uh, I've been privileged to make my living at that for the last 25 years alongside my wife, Charlotte, and we've traveled with uh, Mr. Bill Gaither and uh, a few other artists like uh, Jeff and Sherry Easter, and that's how I got my start. I was their drummer for uh, 10, oh, 14 years, 12 to 14 years, I think. Then went with Mr. Gaither and with David Phelps. So I've had the privilege of playing with a lot of people, and I, I do miss it. I think we've got some dates scheduled in May. That we're going to try to we're going to get back on the road a little bit, but um, yeah, since the pandemic, hadn't done yeah. a lot of playing. Yeah. But so we're we're we want to bring some musical people here that are talented from our area here in Princeton and surrounding areas, and and then Tom suggested a young man to mm -hmm. I think two weeks ago Tom Ward and we're gonna try to have him in here and we're gonna let you know where you can get their music and and just etc cetera, etc cetera. but like Chad said if you've got someone in mind uh, talented too and I'm gonna tell you who I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna put him on the spot right now because I know he's probably not watching so I'm gonna get away with this but uh, one of my best friends on this planet is Kevin Williams. Kevin Williams. Kevin Williams is a Kentucky native. Yep, and he has he has started a uh, an organization <clears throat> out of uh, Russell Springs, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope I got that right because I know there's Russellville, there's Russellville, Russell. and there's Russell Springs. Yeah, and I get the two mixed up. But y'all forgive me if anybody from Russell Springs is watching. And I got that wrong, and Kevin, forgive me if I got that wrong, but Kevin uh, and I have been bandmates and travel compadres for the last 20 years with Gaither. Uh, Kevin is a comedian, he's a writer, he is a speaker, oh, yeah. he is uh, I know, it took me a minute. Yeah, but, he's yeah. an incredible guitarist, incredible musician, and one of my all-time best friends on this planet and I'm gonna talk him into coming up here and we're going to spotlight 
uh, we're going to spotlight his organization, uh, the organization that he began, Kevin's Kids, okay? And it is an organization that benefits underprivileged uh, kids in that county, which I, I, I think it's Russell Springs. I'm not sure the county. I'm horrible. I'm so sorry. But uh, it benefits people there in surrounding counties that are underprivileged. That it provides them, you know, sometimes shoes to wear, uh, coats, and they have wonderful testimonies. Um, Kevin does a fundraiser every year. It's a live fundraiser, and I don't know exactly how. I don't think he did it last year. They still raised a lot of money but he didn't get a chance to uh, do the live thing. He usually has bands in. I know my wife has performed there before. He's had uh, several very uh, top name artists that have come in. Uh, I think he, I want to say he had, I think Mark Lowry came his one of his first years there. Um, but he's had, I think he's had Guy Penrod. He's had um, like some of the Oak Ridge boys in. Mm. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna have Kevin in here. I'm just I've already gonna claim it. I'm gonna claim it and I'm gonna say that he would do it for me. Please, Kevin. <laughs> uh, but we'll get him to bring his guitar and he'll take over. Ke uh, Chad and I'll just probably spread out and just let him have the whole middle thing of it because he doesn't need he doesn't need any help from us whatsoever. Yeah. But he he's you will love him. You will love him. I see Mr. Rick Blackburn up there. And speaking of speaking of Mr. Rick Blackburn. And a couple of Breakfast with the Banners ago, mm -hmm. we got to mentioning how we loved um, old cooking utensils mm -hmm. and old old things that we, we, we grew up with and wanted to bring those kind of things to you and bring those things to the banner. Mr. Rick was kind enough several weeks ago to bring us in a couple of things that his family had mm -hmm. while he was growing up, and I've got them right here. Um, I I had mentioned a couple of things before, but he 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 brought us. I know you guys know what this is. This is an old cheese grater, and he brought a, another one that looks like it has the handle torn off of it. I don't know what years this was made, but my favorite thing that he brought was the thing that I had mentioned. The, you remember the flour sifter story we were talking about? Looky there, guys. I'm ready to make biscuits. That just that looks exactly like the one we had in my grandmother's house mm -hmm. growing up. This brings back so many memories for me uh, of her standing over the kitchen table, sifting flowers yeah. to make homemade biscuits right there at, at her table. And she had this plastic mat. It yeah. had all kind of measuring things oh, on it, yeah. written on it. I had no idea what they meant. I still don't because I don't. I'm not really good mathematically. But I remember this thing because she would pour flour in it and then she would let me turn it. And so we would sift that flour yeah. all the way through there and make biscuits. Yeah, that's Love so it. cool. Thank you, Mr. Rick. We appreciate that. And uh, we have been keeping this safe, and and we're going to reluctantly give this back to you because I know it's a family heirloom of yours. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for sharing that with us and allowing us to share it with our community at the Banner. And uh, I know we're probably, we're trying to get a paper out today too, so uh, the new uh, issue of the Banner comes out tomorrow. And uh, But we do have some good, very good articles in there tomorrow. Uh, the feature story on the front page is uh, from an, an author in Western Kentucky, uh, actually in in Marion, in Crittenden County, uh, Regina Merrick, uh, who does a, a line of uh, novels. She's an author. Mm -hmm. uh, so a really good article um, from her. It's a Christian fiction that she writes. Yes, it? yes. Yeah. So she's a very good author. Yeah. Very and it's a great article. You'll, you'll, it's very, very informative, and you get to know her a little bit better. Maybe we can have her in sometime. I would love to. Yeah. I would absolutely we'll ask love her. to. I can, I, I'll tell you, I still, I'm just blown away at the amount of talent in in the surrounding counties of Western Kentucky here, yeah. you know, and I mean, being from Nashville, it's kind of an expected thing, yeah. I guess. But you know, we're we're in a rural part of Kentucky, mm -hmm. and I'm just amazed at the number of truly talented, gifted people that are in this area right here. And we want to do as much as we can to feature them 
as much as we can, yes, right? Yes. We're going to put spotlights on them. And also, businesses, guys, if you have name, if you have an idea of business spotlight you want to see, you want to know more about, please let us know. Write us uh, and 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 tell your friends. You know, you guys smash the like button as they as the kids say these days. <laughs> I'm old. I'm sorry. I'm old. Anyway, uh, and we also. Uh, we do, we're working on some coffee mugs. I know we mentioned that a while back mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, Breakfast with the Banner logo on, on it to, to feature here. Um, and we would love again to feature, because we're coffee drinkers, uh, Greg and I are. I know Amber is too. We just got a coffee pot, but we haven't hooked it up yet. Um, but we would love to feature your business uh, logo on a coffee mug. Uh, we would love if uh, you guys would want to sponsor uh, an episode of uh, Breakfast with the Banner, and we will, uh, you know, have your your logo, your business logo, displayed throughout the uh, the broadcast. And but we would love for you to, to get in touch with us because uh, mm -hmm. that's uh, you know we uh, coming from coming off before here coming from the chamber is mm -hmm. you know I got to work with the local businesses and stuff, and we have got a thriving business community. Um, I know Tree County does as well. Uh, Edible. Uh, in Lyon County, in, in Dawson Springs, the, this this whole surrounding uh, community, you know, we work hand in hand, and there's so many good businesses around here. Um, I know Amber and Tom can speak to that as well. That yeah, we, uh, have a lot of good uh, just local businesses yeah. around here that we want to spotlight. We would love to spotlight mm -hmm. you guys here on Breakfast with the Banner. And so many people already, so many businesses in our community here have have been so good to support the Banner itself, our newspaper, and and like I said, we we're grateful for Tom Ward. And we're grateful for Amber Grandstaff, who uh, heads up our advertising department, and our advertising sales department. And we want to invite you, if you have a business or if you know someone who has a business or someone that might be interested, uh, to contact those two people that are very dear to us here and very dear to what we do, very important to what we do here, uh, Tom Ward and Amber Grandstaff. And you can reach those guys both via email or you can call here, you can call at our shop, and um, I don't know if we can put the number up where people can, can see it, we can. but we'll do that, and we'll also give you those guys' email. Tom, is, he does everything. I mean, ever since he's been here, Tom does our sports. Um, he, he's, he may, you, you may remember one of our first issues of the banner, he covered the uh, fire for the uh, the the historic building, here, Leroy, the Leroy building, and did a wonderful job with that. And he's amazing. Um, I don't know that he sleeps. At least I I haven't seen him sleep. Every time I'm here, he's here, and which you know, as a business owner, makes me feel a little guilty, <laughs> a little guilty. But then I get over it and I go home. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Amber is so great uh, too. I, w I know you want to. You guys can come by and meet them, or if you see them on the on the road, you know, say hi to them. Uh, they're out and about everywhere. Chad, our editor and chief of this paper, is an amazing talent himself. And uh, but like I said, we, we we have paper advertising, and then you can also we'd like to invite you to advertise. Like Chad said, you can be a sponsor for Breakfast with a Banner, or We've got some new advertising avenues for you, Chad. Can you tell them a little bit about our, our web advertising? We do. Uh, we're going to start the uh, advertising on Facebook, which will be uh, in addition to uh, the print advertising, uh, which is going to be great because uh, we uh, surprisingly uh, were very humbled by it. Uh, have a, a tremendous reach thus far in the in the in the short. Three months. Yeah, that three we've been, months we've been doing this. You've been, you've been telling me numbers um, just and, over the past week. And so we think that's going to be a, a great avenue for, for advertising for our local businesses uh, to reach far. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, we, we are reaching, uh, it's somewhere, you know, close to 160,000 right now. 160. And it's growing. Yeah. I mean, that's. Guys, we've we just be, we've just begun, but 160,000 people is a lot of people to be reaching from Caldwell County, okay, from right here on on U.S. Highway 62 <laughs> West in yeah. Princeton, Kentucky. 
that's a that's a great uh, that's a great audience. So we want to pass that benefit along to you, uh, business owners and um, and uh, advertisers out there. We want to invite you to advertise with us, advertise with the banner, and we will make it worth your while. You will see some great benefits from it, no yes, doubt about it. Because it's uh, it will be uh, advertising on Facebook. As, uh, for your business as well as uh, our website uh, so you know contact Tom and Amber and uh, they'll they'll have all the information for you, you got Tom standing right over here hey Tom uh, boy making sure we don't say anything wrong I guess he's he's ready to slap us probably I don't know no he said no uh, but because uh, I know this is is more work for them but it benefits everybody uh, in the long run so uh, uh, and that's what we're here for. We're here. We're here yeah. again to. Like, we'll say it till we're blue in the face. We're here to serve you. And, and we're here, and here to when, serve our community. When I say that we're family, and that's not just something we're saying to to appease anybody. We consider you guys family because you have humbled us. You have welcomed us into your your homes, and the the support and love that you show you. That's. It's what family does and that's what family is and you guys are a part of the banner family and we we appreciate you guys uh and i know we're gonna have to finish up here uh, we got a like i said earlier we got a paper to finish up today to get out and get printed for four in the morning uh i know lj he, he said that uh amber they had some had some new ones hatched this morning, so she's a little bit behind. That's all right. So Take new, care of those chicks. New little chickies, and uh, Amber says that he does play in the band. LJ does play in the band. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, tremendous talent, tremendous talent there. And Kim Burkhart McGlone, when you uh, showed the the flower sifter, yeah, she says that her mom can't see this. But she heard when you, when you made the noise, and she knew exactly that. what yeah. it was. Yeah. When when you and what's her what's her mom's name? Uh, Kim didn't say what her mom's name was. Kim, what's your mom's name? Are you still watching? Post her name up there where we can say hello to her. But uh, anyway, we will say hello to your mom, Kim, and uh, we're grateful grateful for that. Grateful that she can remember and and hear that hear that sound and that's, know what that's it is. Awesome. That's awesome, yeah. It's, that's, it's that's tremendous, pretty cool. tremendous. Pretty cool, and I know the, the kids are on spring break this week here in Caldwell, so uh, is anybody else on spring break this week, Tom? Uh, yeah, uh, Lyon County is on uh, spring break, so is Trigg, okay. and I believe Dawson is too. Okay, so I believe the rest of the counties, Lyon, Trigg, and Dawson are um, on uh, spring break this week too. So, we want the kids to be safe. Enjoy your time off, and uh, just have fun. Mary Ward, that's Kim's mama. That's okay, Kim's mama. Mary Ward. Hey, Miss Mary. God bless you. And that's pretty awesome that you can hear that. That no, don't know what that sound is. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I sure wouldn't, but uh, I don't. I don't cook a lot. You, I don't think you want me cooking anyway. But, uh, but anyway, guys, I think we're gonna. Hey, before we go. I'm going to put somebody else on the spot right now, because that's what I've been doing. I've been doing a good job of that this yeah, morning, haven't yeah, I? Yeah. So I've put about five people on the spot this morning, and I'm going to put our advertising manager and our sports writer, Mr. Tom Ward, on the spot right now. Tom, don't run. Can you come in and let, and let the people see your face? Yeah, I'll step in here for just a second. He's, he's pretty. Look here, at I that. Here, i what I do. Here, take a seat there. Tom's got some things he wants to share with you this morning. And uh, go, boy. All right, we got some new exciting things this week, uh, starting with the sports page. Um, first thing that we're going to do is basketball season's over. We're going to announce the banner players of the year. We have um, one player from each of the boys' and girls' basketball teams from uh, each of the four schools that we cover. Uh, also, something that uh, Willie and I talked about over the weekend we're going to do a play of the week, which we're also going to uh, offer this as an advertising opportunity. The first advertiser for this particular issue is going to be Bad Bandit Rubs and Seasonings, and Love he it. is sponsoring the play of the week. Uh, uh, Coleman Dixon uh, has got his own seasoning company, so... Um, and we'll give him a shameless plug yeah. here. It's www.bad-bandit.com. 
and he's sponsoring our new play of the week. Now you can, uh, if you have a business and you want to sponsor the play of the week, you're more than welcome. You can give me a call, send me an email, whatever you want to do, and uh, we're going to get that uh, that going. Also, through baseball and softball season, I've decided to bring in another thing where we have a player of the week from both the baseball teams and the softball teams. Um, now I'm not going to give these away. You have to. You're going to have to pick up the newspaper tomorrow to find out who these who these fine players were. And but I will tell you the uh, the play of the week this week is a very exciting play that happened Friday night. Uh, be sure and check that out in the paper. Uh, as they mentioned a few minutes ago, um, we want to help as many businesses as we can. That's uh, you know with the business spotlight. That's with uh, you know bringing you guys in and uh, letting us build you some pretty nice ads and stuff like that. Yeah, absolutely. Things that grab your attention mm -hmm. when you pick up the newspaper. Um, we do things a little differently here with our ads that a lot of other uh, outlets don't do. We, we give you an attractive ad um, that's eye-catching, that has a lot of information in it. And that's something that we've mm -hmm. worked on ever since we started this paper because we want to uh, be sure that we can service the businesses in our community the way that yep. they should be and give them that you know that due diligence not only not only just from a paper standpoint but we would remind the people that at that new direction marketing incorporated which is the umbrella company for the banner newspaper and new direction printing um, we we are a full service marketing company which means we can uh, if you have websites to be built if you have uh, advertising to be done, like like Tom said, uh, graphic design, we can do it all right here, and we would love to have your business, and we appreciate your business very much. Uh, we've actually, uh, since uh, since I've come on board, we've actually rebranded some places, done new logos for them. Uh, M3 Electric is one that yeah, we uh, that we rebranded. Yeah, fantastic uh, job on them. We. Uh, just this past week, uh, we put up a brand new logo for uh, Hayes uh, Hardware and Lumber in mm -hmm. Dawson Springs. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing some work for Woodburn Pharmacy in uh, Dawson Springs. I mean, you know, like I said, fine folks that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, now Woodburn, of course, we didn't change their logo or anything, but we've just been doing some graphics for them and some new stuff. Um, we have uh, companies come in, they get signs done. I mean, it's amazing the amount of things that this company can do and I know that you guys have touched on this before but you know the easier question to answer is when people ask me says well what can you guys do the easier question to answer is what can't we do <laughs> the answer that, is Tom. always yeah. yes yeah thank you and it's something one, one more thing to mention too speaking of the kids Tom and the athletes and, and maybe maybe not only athletes but graduates that are coming up I know last year and uh, uh, beyond and even before that beyond the pandemic everything I will let you know that we also pres we print uh, yard signs for your graduates mm -hmm. we uh, we print yard signs we can print yard signs for your church also banners I know a lot of times a lot of you guys especially in Caldwell County I know driving up from Nashville I see them all over the house it makes me very proud too by the way that it comes from our company but we can take uh, full pictures of your seniors, and I know it's very popular. I know proud parents and grandparents are are presenting those out on the, you know on the, on the house porches or on the in the yards, every how you want to do. We can do all those full color printing uh, on vinyl, on yard signs, whatever substrate you want it on. We can put it on there, and we would just love to have you celebrate. We'd love to celebrate your seniors this year with you. Well, you know, when you go to the ball games too, um, at uh, at all of the schools that we cover, uh, you'll see the the senior banners where they have a photo of the uh, of the seniors. Mm -hmm. uh, we also print those here. In fact, we'll be unveiling um, the girls uh, Lady Tigers uh, softball banners this week. 
Uh, we've got them printed. I'm getting ready to get them all fixed up, and we'll be having them hanging at the ballpark. Uh, it's looking like uh, we might have a game here Thursday. We're uh, still waiting on Coach Butts to confirm that. Um, but if that is the case, then we will have those out Thursday night. I know tonight Lyon County is playing Union County. Uh, so if you, uh, if you get a chance, uh, you can order your tickets online and you can go down and watch some really uh, good girls softball tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, something else that Amber and I have been working on is uh, we've been doing a, a, a few little things with some graphic design that um, number one that one thing that we've worked on is uh, Greg's got it right here we have uh, finally started putting together some banner shirts but at that the other thing that we're doing is we have actually put together some school logo apparel uh, now this stuff is brand new we're not ready to quite unveil it yet uh, the, one of the first things that we worked on is um, a new logo for the um, the Caldwell County Tigers. It's using the current logo and in bits and pieces. And uh, this is some stuff that keep it you know keep your eyes open for. We've got uh, some new stuff coming up for Lyon County mm -hmm. and Dawson Springs that I'm working on right now. Um, and we're still working with Trigg County to try to figure out what uh, what we're going to use as far as a logo so we can do some things that's special for uh, the folks that follow those schools if uh, if you guys want to get that stuff it'll be yeah. on shirts and got, you can get it anywhere you want we've got several ways too I know I, I, I do quite a bit of the the, uh, the, the uh, garment printing here but this is a, a new way that we have to print and it's a sublimation print I mean that thing feels like it was sewn in there. I mean, you can't even feel it. I know screen printing, uh, we do screen printing, which screen printing is great. I love it. And, and uh, most of the time we get a great hand feel, but you can't even, you can't even feel that. No, and, it, and, and, it do, and it does not wash out. I mean, this no, stuff no, no, is no. amazing. You yeah. know, it, it Once it's cured, it's in there. It's and, there. Uh, yeah. But anyway, listen, we've loved, we've, we've got, like Tom said just a little bit ago, we've, if, if it's easier to say what we can't do than, than what we can do, but you know the answer is yes. <laughs> we we're here to support you. We want to thank you for uh, all the support that you've given us, and um, and I we just we're grateful. We're blown away. And Bud, you got anything else? Well, I, like here? I said, you know, make sure you support your local schools. Um, you know, buy your tickets for the uh, uh, for the ball games. Come out and watch these kids play. Um, this is the uh, the first time in two years that we've gotten to see baseball and softball on the high school level uh, because of COVID. These kids come out, they play their hearts out. We have some really good seniors this year um, uh, that you know we're excited uh, excited to watch, especially with the Lady Tigers. We've got. Um, Allie Felker and uh, Maja Hollowell and uh, Shelby Lane with the Lyon County Lions. They've got several girls that are playing. One of the most exciting players that I have gotten to see this year so far is a young lady down in Lyon County, uh, Sydney Melton. She is right now, she's hit a home run in every game. Good Saturday grief. night, she popped a grand slam. Way to go, Sydney. And, um, then we also have Callista Collins, uh, who is uh, definitely going to college to play softball. Any of those ladies pitchers that you just mentioned? Um, neither one of them two are, and uh, for Caldwell, no, those, those aren't either. Well, listen, i got to tell you something right now. I, Charlotte and I, my wife, and I were watching some – I love college softball. I love, I, love to watch, um, I love to watch fast pitch softball. And it's amazing, and I'm not. I would. I'll, I'll blow the math if I if I start quoting. But I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it is the uh, fast pitch softball is the equivalent or the reaction times. What I mean from the from the from the from the pitch to the batter is actually less than a major league pitch because the distance is shorter and the speed ratio somehow that plays in the the, the time that. The pitch leaves 
the pitcher's hand, so the time the batter has time swinging it is like less than a major league reaction. And I'm and somebody can correct me wrong, but I think I read that somewhere. That is correct. Okay, that, listen, that's amazing. Uh, you know, we have a we have a great coach this year uh, that has just come on board at Caldwell County. Um, I mentioned him earlier, Seath Butts. Um, I was not personally that familiar with um, fast pitch softball until mm-hmm. this year. Uh, Seath has uh, kind of taken me under his wing. We've gone out to practices and stuff. We do a lot of pictures. Mm-hmm. He uses those pictures to, uh, you know, help train uh, train the girls to be better hitters. And he's walked me through that. And just to watch these kids improve in just the last few weeks, because they really just got started with this, it's amazing how much they train and yeah. how much he works with them yeah. to make them the best hitters yeah. that they can be. These and athletes I mean, are, they, you know, I tell you what, I, being a high school athlete many, 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 many decades ago, uh, I can tell you the dedication that these kids put into their sport is absolutely, it's, it's mind-blowing and, it, and it's very admirable. And I, I tell you something else too, I love to see this guy's passion uh, with the sports, the local sports here. I mean, you, you're not going to meet a more passionate person to cover uh, our young athletes here in Caldwell County and the surrounding areas as well. So I want to say personal thank you to you, Tommy Boyd. Thank you. We love you very, very much, and we're proud to have you here at the Banner. Um, got a couple, one more couple things, one more couple things. <laughs> Works for me. Yeah. I'm going to bring Chad back in here, brother. You got anything else? That's all me? I've got. Okay. Like I said, you guys make sure that you, uh, you show up, you support your local high schools. Also, summertime, we have Little League sports coming up with the smaller kids. Uh, if you haven't gotten your kids signed up, get a hold of Youth Incorporated. Get a hold of the uh, the different community uh, projects that does have youth sports. Get your kids signed up. Get them involved. Give them something to do uh, through the summer. Let them learn a sport because they are the future of your high school sports teams. It's very important that you know we build from the you know from the very smallest kids all the way to the ones that graduate and go on to college. It has there's a lot of opportunities yeah. for these kids. Yeah, absolutely. Statewide. And I mean that just and not only statewide but countrywide. I know I've got a nephew, shameless plug for Logan Penhalla. Uh that youngin is amazing football player an amazing football player. He's a great wrestler too, but we, we're gonna focus on football because he's only about six three right now. And he's just a junior. He's, junior, he's, he's a rising junior, mm-hmm. uh, rising senior. He'll be a rising senior, he, senior year next year. He plays for uh, uh, Pope John Paul II down in Hendersonville, Tennessee. This dude is amazing. He's offensive and defensive lineman. I think they're actually going to move him to defensive end this next year. Mm-hmm. Just got a letter, handwritten letter, and I'm so proud, y'all. Forgive me, but I'm beaming. Logan just got a letter from Yale. That's awesome. Not only is he a great athlete, and he is a monster athlete. You can, I mean, you can go on any of those huddle apps or anything and watch his highlight reel. He's amazing. But two, uh, academically, he's just he's absolutely phenomenal. So we're very proud of of him. But we want to let you know uh, that we are extremely proud of our athletes right here in this county and the surrounding counties and listen Tom's right they are the future they it's just that simple and getting them involved in sports creates discipline for them and their minds and their bodies and uh, things that they will carry with them for the rest of their lives so exactly I mean every one of these players that play have played in the in the NCAA tournament that play in the NFL, that mm-hmm. play in the NHL, that play in Major League Baseball. All these people that we watch now that entertain us mm-hmm. as we watch sports mm-hmm. were all somebody's little mm-hmm. four, five, six mm-hmm. year old T ball, right. little league football playing yep. kids. Like I said, it starts at the mm-hmm. very lowest levels and, and it's a small percentage that make it to be professionals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they have to start somewhere. 
and that starts with the parents. So parents, make sure you get your kids signed up. Guys, I'm done. Okay, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. you. Okay. Hey, listen, just a couple more things before we get off of here. Um, and I, 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 like I said, I knew you would love Tom's passion. His passion for sports is just second to none. There's, there's no doubt about it. And he does care greatly about our young people here, uh, girls and boys sports. And, um, and we, we celebrate our young men and women that go off. I mean, WNBA, you've got, uh, I can't wait. And I hope, and there may be, if somebody knows of a professional league of fast pitch softball, let me know, because I'm telling you, I'm a huge fan. I've got nieces that play the sport, and uh, it's just fascinating to me. I, I love it. It's more, to, okay, I'm, a, I'm not going to, I probably shouldn't say that. But to me, it's more <laughs> exciting than watching MLB. I'm, out, I'm just saying it. I'm putting it out there. Because there's more action. There's more things that happen per inning. And and I'm a wrestler at heart. I, I you know, trained jujitsu still at, at the ripe age of 50. And I'm just, I got to have a little action. I'm, I love all sports, but there are some sports that you can nap to and some sports you can't. <laughs> Fast pitch softball is one of those that you can't. Okay. Uh, one more thing, bud. And I'm, and guys, we took a long time this morning, but I hope you enjoyed the program. Uh, a couple of episodes back, we had Miss Michelle Wyatt with us. Um, Michelle is an absolute treasure um, for Western Kentucky. I don't know if you if you've picked up her book yet, but we want to let you know that we have Michelle's book, Buckle Up Buttercup, right here at our shop, uh, 100 U.S. Highway 62 West, Princeton, Kentucky. Again, the title is Buckle Up Buttercup by Michelle Wyatt. We have her book here on sale. For $15, you can get this book. And I'm telling you something, I've read it personally. It is amazing. It's a great read. It's well written. And uh, the information in it is just, it's priceless. So come get it. $15 while they last right here at, uh, at New Direction Printing. Right here on Highway 100, U.S. Highway 100, 62 West said that completely backwards 100 <laughs> u.s highway 62 west princeton kentucky 42445 okay i got it right and uh just in case i didn't chad's going to put that information up uh again buckle up buttercup michelle wyatt we thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story with us a couple of weeks ago you were you were absolute delight to have here and we know you are a treasure to uh, this community and we want to do everything we can to spotlight your success and come by and get Michelle's book please but I have talked my face off this morning I have melted everybody's face <laughs> with my words so I'm gonna shut up and say we love you and then Chad's gonna say whatever he wants to say I'll, I'll second that guys uh, I've always been uh, I'm proud he does a lot of the talking because I, I'm not I've never been, I'm kind of speak when spoken to, and uh, but this is great. I say, couldn't. what What did I say the first episode uh, we were talking about? I was a, a friend of mine said that her sister talks when she has something to say, and she talked until she has something to say. I think I, I, think I fall in, in category B. I just talk <laughs> until I have something to say. I know that's what my wife said when we first met on our first date. Uh, my wife, Casey, she says, you know, all you did was just sit there and smile the whole time. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, you do that well, though, yeah, brother. You yeah. do that my well. Smi my smile says everything. Yes. But anyway, guys, we're going to get off here, like I said before. We, we've got a paper to, uh, to get out and to finish up. But, uh, again, we love you guys. Uh, and just, just know, uh, when you go out today, be the light of, Jesus Christ and lead people to him through your life, through your words, through your actions. We love you guys. Hope you have a blessed day. God have bless, a blessed guys. week. Bye-bye.